Hi, in this video we will learn how to find out skewness values in Microsoft Excel or in WPS spreadsheet. So here is my data set. So it has four variables AC1, AC2, AC3 and AC4 and I am interested to find out their skewness values. So here is the formula equation skew and put parenthesis and then select the data of the variable for which you want to calculate skewness value and close the parenthesis and just enter. So here is the skewness value of AC1, the first variable. Since all variables are in columns, so if I simply copy it and paste it in the following columns, so you would see it will automatically calculate skewness values of remaining three variables also. So as you know that if skewness value is zero, so that would mean so the more values are typically what I would say making a bell curve. So ideally it should be close to zero. However, less than one is good enough, fine enough. So no problem in that one. So uh, one thing more. If values are have a positive signs, so that means more values are tilted toward the left sides, left side of the bell curve. And if value skewness is negative, so that what means more values are tilted toward the right side. So here in all these four cases, you see here the skewness values are negative. So negative means right side, right side mean toward the higher values. So since this data is on a scale of 1 to 5, so that would mean more responses are towards 4 and 5, right? So let's cross check these values with SPSS. So here is my data set. So let me go to analyze the then with crypto statistics. And here, I have already selected these four variables, AC1, AC2, AC3, and AC4. In options, I check only, only Kurtos and Securities and uncheck all other options. Continue and wait. So here we go. So this is the table for Securities. I simply copy it and bring it here. And uh, here you see the first value for the AC1, Securities is minus 0.62 yes minus 0.62 and uh, for AC2 is uh, minus 0.826 minus 0.826 and for AC3 is minus 0.853 exactly same one and for AC4 it's 0.865 exactly same one. so this is how you see we can calculate uh, skewness values in Microsoft Excel by using a very very simple formula thanks for watching